It's a binge compilation. Okay, bye. This is to the guy in the electronics department at Walmart who, when I approached and said, game, because it was the only word that could come to me, went, yeah, and walked me straight to Tears of the Kingdom. No questions asked. Bless you. Why is it when I find a guy that wants to date me, he ends up hurting me in the end? Like, hey, God, stop hurting me for character development or I'm going to develop into a villain. Hot take. I'd rather be alone and miserable than have to burden someone I love with my awful mental state. Got this, this, this right here, this, this. So do we all agree that YouTuber slash influencer is the by far best job for a vampire, right? The bonus points if they're VTubers and just pretend to have the model on. Looking at you, Nosferatu. To be honest, hate watching is such an alien concept to me. I can barely be bothered to watch the things I do want to watch. Why would I bother looking at something I know I won't like? This is a good point. Water bender bending a gender fluid person. Yeah, call that a gender bender. Yeah. Sorry, but in my conquest for power, I had to take the femme from your boys and give it to my men. An army of femmen. Absolutely horrible that I cannot make the colon three face IRL. This is wretched. Earth, you are my wishing star. Here's how you look from my home on the surface of Mars. You are my wishing star is so romantic. Why is Mars rover so slick? I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but suffering is not noble. Take the Tylenol. One time when I was younger, I was refusing to take headache medicine, and my mom said, you know, the person who invented that medicine is probably so sad you won't let them help you. And now every time I find myself denying medicine, I just imagine the saddest scientist making those big wet eyes like, why won't you let me help? And whoop, then I take the medicine. That's actually a good way of doing that, writing that down, thank you. Probably bad RPG idea. Establish your big bad as the villain by having them throw a multi-million extravagant parade to celebrate how great they are as they sit in golden robes in their palace while the peasants are finding it difficult to buy bread. Purely fictional, no resemblance to real events. Mm. So what are you guys working on? Just surviving, really. That's our two. Can you imagine not being human and just living out your days as a weeping willow, though? Beautiful, by the water, unburdened, ideal. I want to be the one from Harry Potter that beats the shit out of everyone and everything. Hmm. My nose occasionally sounds like a Geiger counter. Am I going crazy or are the nanobots taking over? Oh, shit. Andy, Andy, quick, pull out the nanobots. They're activating. Yep. That's enough of that. I'm evil, I'm unlovable, I'm wretched, I'm turning into something unrecognizable, I am a monster. Sat alone in room for too long. Y'all ever do the ADHD thing where you have an extreme craving for a specific food item, and if you don't eat just said food item in the next 30 minutes, you will drop that on the spot? That's an ADHD thing? I want to look so gender, people won't be able to tell if I'm a femboy or a tomboy. Damn. Powerful. None of y'all know what propaganda actually is, do you? Yeah, it's when a British person takes a good look at something. This is legitimately the funniest thing anyone has ever said to one of my posts. Thank you for your service. Andy, I'm sorry, I gotta do it. This is revenge for what you did last video. Propaganda. 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 The cat owner invited their neighbor over for dinner and introduced their four cats. That's Alog, Aract, Airpriller, and Astrophy. They announced. The neighbor was surprised and asked, Where on earth did you get those names? Oh, those are their last names, the owner said. Their first names are Cat. When you set out on the path of revenge, dig two graves. You never know when the other guy might have cloned himself. Thank you, evil wizard. I'm so tired of John Bizarre Adventure. I don't want to see those large and colorful men on my dashboard anymore. Well, that's why they deactivated. They got hit with the colorful men. When I'm listening to my own library and playlists, I feel like a powerful wizard. But when I'm trying to show my music taste to anyone, it feels like I have a shame going on. Yeah, the only difference between a wizard hat and a dunce cap is a wide brim of privacy. Ask.com, what is a baby worm called? There is no term for a baby worm. It is just called a worm. Well, this just makes me sad. I'm calling them squiglets. 
I've never played D&D &D before, but I've come up with the cutest bard character I could possibly imagine. Okay, imagine this. Frog. But j j just hear me out for a second. This bard is a frog who can't speak English. All he could do is ribbit and croak. And the DM would have a list of translations of different ribbit and croak patterns to translate what the frog is saying. For example, ribbit croak croak could mean how are you? Or croak ribbit could mean good evening. Is this a good idea or would it be too complicated? No, I think it would work, but it would also come down to if your bard magic is actually going to be like ribbit singing or if you're also going to use an instrument because that might be where it gets tricky. You know, I could be the person who changes the stoplights. Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. It comes naturally to me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, your boyfriend is someone's favorite Borbo. Yeah, so he's in a bunch of scenarios in their head. Super sorry. The fact that pro-monarchy arguments have degenerated over the past few centuries from the king rules by divine right and is accountable to nobody but God to um, the royals generate a lot of income from tourism will never stop being extremely funny to me. The monarchs, bad. But the castles, oh, the castles are positively lush with rats. Delete this account immediately. It's all about reading the URL names, kids. An evil spirit is playing my throat bones like a xylophone. My throat hurts. Please stop. Nobody knows where I came from. I just showed up one day and started doing my thing, and God was like, who the hell is that? I didn't invite them. Pets are amazing. You have a little guy just hanging around your house, just vibing. And they let you pet them. Whispering, no while reading a book because you know that the character is about to make a fool out of themselves and kill you with second-hand embarrassment. Happy Feet is a story of a little autistic dude who stems so good he caused a reformation in the church. Goals, really? You do not have to complete this drawing right now. You can always come back to it later. Hey, I have ADHD, and if I stop at any given point, then this project will be dead to me. There will be no coming back to it later. To be honest, if someone just handed me a pressure washer and set me loose in the streets, I would go into a trance and just start hosing shit down indiscriminately. It's not a question of how much I could clean, but how long until I get hit by a car and die. Super Mario Sunshine. I can fix them. Okay, but I can fix the narrative. I can recontextualize events and bring out deaths of the character. I can shift priorities and strengthen relationships and show that anyone can change with enough kindness and support. And that what you admired in him has been inside yourself this whole time. Wow. <sighs> the angels and Evangelion got it right. Sometimes it is really about just being a floating orb, a floating octahedron, or a large string of light. Or sometimes the main character's mom. So I just found out that bats can purr. So does that mean vampires can also purr? I've, I, like, imagine a vampire just cuddling with their partner and they just start purring. I googled it and apparently vampires can indeed purr. This changes everything. Yes, yes, you're very beautiful, bewitching even. Awful parking job, by the way. No one can love you until you love yourself. Is like the worst possible way of articulating. If you don't respect and value yourself, it's very easy to become attracted to people who don't treat you right and then justify the mistreatment. So be careful. So that's what it's supposed to mean. That actually makes sense. Yo, Earl Grey really put his whole ass pussy into this tea blend, and I don't know what the fuck a bergamot is, but this shit tastes like men's deodorant, and it fucks. As a habitual Earl Grey drinker, I think tastes like men's deodorant will stay with me for the rest of my life. I hate that you're kind of right. I... God damn you, wizard potions! The what if I jokingly shipped it to the I genuinely ship it pipeline is real, and it knows your location. You can have characters in your mind. Well, watch out! They will move in forever and won't even pay rent. Give all bosses health meters. I thought this was about, like, managers IRL and was very confused. I hate the guessing game on how much damage my attacks do against the regional manager. God! Yeehaws. Safely. I'm gonna be stuck in a heat pass. Existence is weird and strange and extrinsic. Can't stop you from making something silly or cool or mundane. If it makes you happy, it's good. Mm, not enough whimsy. 30 years in the dungeon for you. Damn, shorty, your blobo had the most recognizable tits ever. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I hate these modern all plastic playgrounds for kids. Safety, blah, 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 blah. They're ugly. I know that children crave steel and iron. 
rock and stone. Asked for a two piece of KFC and they asked breast or thigh. I said personality and they threw hot grease on me. Why is Texas called the Lone Star State? Because you can't leave a zero stars rating. <laughs> we all love the becoming the very thing you sought to destroy trope, but I have a growing fondness for destroying the very thing you sought to become. Mix them up into a thick slurry of you end up becoming the thing you sought to destroy in order to destroy the thing you sought to become. Jesus, are you guys writing campaigns here? Pros of having a brain that makes very fast associations. Good comebacks and jokes. Cons of having a brain that makes very fast associations. The story about how you broke your foot reminded me of a fun fact about lizards. Yeah. yeah. Listen, sometimes you just gotta keep a shuffle through the sadness. <laughs> to the right, to the right. Damn, baby girl, why you forget everything? You're so sexy. Get away from me. The fact that there are only two numbers between four and seven is so twisted and fucked up, I'm literally going to be sick. The girls are learning to count. Technically, there's an infinite amount of numbers between them, but I'm afraid if I try to explain decimals, I'll either lose my gay card or get shot. My inner eight-year-old is constantly freaked out at the realization that life is not some special state of matter. I am a mineral being. My insides are red because rust is red. The internal structure my body secretes is made out of the same stuff as cliffs and chalk. I am a wet rock that time tricked into thinking. A wet rock that time tricked into thinking got me. I, I think Artel needs a little nap. Andy, can you set them up a little bit, please? There we go. Per be be behold, uh, internet cable line accidentally drilled through unknown buried woman. Good going, now the internet's haunted. Explains the state of things. Why would you ship Zelda with Ganondorf when Orbosa is right there? Why would you ship Ganondorf with Zelda when Twink is right there? You mean you don't just, you know, this, this right here? Put Sidon in there somewhere. So let's see, Urbosa is for Zelda, Sidon is for Link, and I really can't see Sidon doing anything with Zelda or Urbosa doing anything with Link, to be honest. Ganon definitely goes with Link and Zelda, though, for sure. So, the rules of the Triforce and geometry implies the existence of an anti-Ganondorf, connected to Arbosa, Zelda, Link, and Sidon at the same time. Here, I fixed it for you. Ah, there, there we go, Midden is right there. Meanwhile, poor Pi is crying in the corner. Men don't like that. It's such a turn-off. Good, turn off. Where's your off button? Shut up. Stop making noise. Andy, find our off button and shut it off. No offense, but I've been learning how to have fun in dumb circumstances. I was showering during the storm tonight, and the light started flickering violently. So I peeked out from the curtain and looked at my cat sitting on the counter and said to her, Mrs. Obama, it's been an honor. And then the power went out. Your comedic timing is godly. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh, no thank you. Ever want to raise an emotionally sound child just to flex on your parents? Yeah. One time I dreamt I spilt milk on my laptop and it exploded. This sounds like something that would happen considering the laptop I had from 2007 to 2019 burst into flames on my lap. What? Apparently, Thursday at my school is dress like your romantic type day. Presumably not an official school event. Anyway, do this with your OCs. Well, that sounds like a fun idea, actually. I think we should all get tomorrow off for no particular reason. The next day, too. You know, maybe all the days. Yeah. 20s mobster boyfriend who is weirdly affirming because he just answers everything with, All right, boss. And on it, boss. And good idea, boss. And started playing Tears of the Kingdom. And the amount of times I said, Well, hello, when I find something has skyrocketed. Yeah, that game does it, do you? Don't die is my favorite thing to tell people when they're going to go do something. Going to the store? Don't die. Going to the bathroom? Don't die. Going to Mars? Don't die. Going to write an email? Don't die. Driving to the gas station? Don't die. It fits every situation except maybe a funeral visitation because then I think that'd be a little bit rude. My toxic trait is how confident I am I could be a guardian of the galaxy. Hey, listen. If crispy rats can do it, so can you. Today's inspirational message. We do this not because it is easy, but because we thought it would be easy. <sighs> Mood.
My attention span is a 10 year old. Reads the Lord of the Rings trilogy in like two sittings. My attention span now. Checks internet every 10 minutes during important task. Opens new tab of same site I'm already browsing and got tired of. Well, I feel fucking called out. Personally, I always felt like hobbits age at roughly the same age as exceptionally healthy humans. And the reason that they don't come of legal age until 33 is because have you met people in their 20s? Because Tolkien did. Funny, Pippin is an idiot because he's not an adult yet. Funnier, Pippin is an idiot because he's 28. I've read that as of lethal age, no less than three times. Hobbits received their license to kill at 33. This all post was a blessing. Your reaction to ChatGBT instantly lets me know how easy it is it would be to trick you into thinking that you are haunted. Oh my god, it's literally alive. Two beers, 45 minutes, deck of tarot cards, and I'm charging you $350 for an exorcism. You know, all clothes are unisex when you're normal. Damn, hey, right? No, no, sweetie, mommy's bearing the curse. Electrostatics is a branch of physics that studies electric charges at rest. I will love this image for the rest of my existence. What day gave creation to such wonderful imagery? What events led up to this occurrence? I want to know. Oh, they look so guilty. A relationship, except it's not a relationship because both sides are too scared to make the first move. Oh, I feel like that's going to summon the miraculous ladybug fandom. And when you pull out a pin of a grenade, how do you put it back? Urgently? Quick answers, please! Not to vague blog, but there is someone on Tumblr. Pucky, why is all your merch gone? I wanted a tax evasion hoodie, but now I can't get one, so we have to duel. They come in campaigns. They're like sexy little ghosts that I can summon. Ooh, buy my merch. I don't want traditional burial. I want to become a bog body. Excellent! I'm an archaeologist, and I do research on bog bodies. Thank you. This is threatening. Three hours of silence. I think that's called tinnitus. Ran into someone from my high school who told me they had recently transitioned, and I was over the moon because I had forgotten their name. File under even more blatant proof cis people can joke about trans people without it being at their expense. Hmm. I didn't almost die for not money. Chaotic Neutral Ranger about wanting to get paid. How many words does it take to fill my EXP bar before I level up as a writer? Too many. Our Japanese class found it funny that in common terminology, food isn't very distinguished from specifically rice, until it was pointed out that in English, meal is loose, roughly ground grain. Humans be like stable crop. Stable crop to what? Directly to forehead. Apply this post directly to forehead. Start consuming currency. Consume, eat it, until there's nothing left. What are they gonna do? Put all eight billion of us in a prison? We must unite for this cause. As they say, eat your greens. Vote not allowed. The fuck, man? Do I have a Tumblr criminal record or some shit? New Tumblr feature. Voter suppression. Behold. Fuzzbug. He will deliver serotonin and give you fluffy hugs. <gasps> I love him. This is a no gimmick account zone. If your shit is called something like we write posts, you are not welcome. Go home. I disagree. <laughs> YouTube musicians, when a new Pokemon generation is announced, will compose Pokemon door and window, battle team, sponge boss, fan made prediction. And it's orchestral with chanting in the background and just meant to sound super evil and dramatic, like you're fighting the Antichrist. And then door and window finally come out and you finally confront the real leader of Teen Sponge and he's this pale twonk with pink hair and blue eyes who dabs before throwing his first Pokeball. And, and his canon battle theme is a Eurobeat remix of the It's Muffin Time song from Astiff movie. And don't forget the gratuitous use of Gen 5 light motifs. <sighs> Definitely don't forget that. It's over, mannequin. I have the high ground. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Just... Okay? Hey, Hoofpeak, can you share that fucked up photo of your laptop from Twitter? Bananas. Do not let the Yiga clan anywhere near OP. Yeah. Um, uh, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating. That's a start. Oh, <sighs> wish I was floating in a big glass tank full of neon green fluid while a bunch of guys in lab coats monitored my brain activity. You are king. 
You just don't know it yet.